Being old isn't bad in this case. It just means you can cook some great barbecue. 41 NBC's Sean Franklin visited Old Clinton Barbecue in Milledgeville for this week's restaurant report card. The old Old Clinton Barbecue is there for good reason. History goes back a long way. Plus, they have a perfect health inspection. I'm Sean Franklin, and this is Restaurant Report Card. I love the barbecue sandwiches. I'm a southern boy. Southern boys gotta have barbecue. Three extra barbecue sandwiches. It seems like you just can't get enough of the old Clinton barbecue sandwiches. So two for here and one to go? I like, like the sauce. It just has a good flavor to it. But before we give it a try, there's a restaurant that needs to step it up this week. Salads to go at 1950 Northfield Road in Macon scored a 48 on January 14th. And then tried to redeem themselves two days later, but they scored a 69. The person in charge didn't demonstrate knowledge about the violations. They were serving hard-boiled eggs that the person in charge cooked at home. And chopped chicken for salads was not cold enough to be stored. Other scores this week, Fincher's Barbecue and Catering at 5627 Houston Road in Macon, 92. Pig on a Pie at 3755 Bloomfield Road, 100. Stakeout at 2778 Riverside Drive, 100. American Deli at 2728 Watson Boulevard in Warner Robins, 92. American Wings and Deli at 1996 Watson Boulevard, 96. Casa Mexico 2 at 866 Highway 96, 91. El Jalisciense at 114 Highway 96, 100. My Father's Place at 2507 Moody Road, 96. Snapper's Lounge at 2515 Moody Road, 100. The Snack Shack at 103 Manor Court, 93. The Odor Sandwich Shop at 1201 Sunset Avenue in Perry, 100. So some good scores this week, and if you're looking for some Southern barbecue, look no further than the Old Clinton Barbecue at 2645 North Columbia Street in Milledgeville. I mean, it's just like Southern heritage. You know, it never goes out of style. It's a good place going, good atmosphere, good food, Goodbye good friendly Morgan. people, good hospitality. And they've been doing it for a long time. The old in the name isn't a bad thing. My father-in-law's family started the barbecue business back in 1958. Some tastes never change, and when it comes to staying clean, well, that hasn't changed either. We wipe down the doors all the time and bathroom door handles and, you know, all that kind of stuff because the flu is going around and we just try to keep it clean. So if you want that southern style barbecue with some mean Brunswick stew, head on over to Old Clinton Barbecue in Milledgeville. It's making the grade this week. I'm Sean Franklin. And until next week, this has been 41 NBC's Restaurant Report Card. You can check out all of your health inspection scores on our website at 41NBC.com.